Celiac disease is a chronic autoimmune disease characterized by malabsorption and diarrhea associated with the ingestion of gluten-containing products. Celiac disease is caused by a reaction to gluten, a group of various proteins found in wheat and in other grains such as barley and rye. Main mechanism is CD4 T cells produce cytokines that release matrix proteases, causing cell death and degradation of the endothelial cells, resulting in the loss of the villous surface in the small intestine. Celiac disease occurs in half a percent of world population. More common among whites. And less common among Asians and blacks. Celiac disease occurs at any age. But highest incidence is in infancy and childhood. Clinical findings. Chronic diarrhea includes steatorrhea. Abdominal distension. Malabsorption. Loss of appetite. Failure to thrive in infants and children. Pallor caused by anemia, often combined anemias, iron deficiency in 50% of patients, folic acid deficiency, dermatitis herpetiformis, pregnancy complications. Important diagnostic antibodies include anti-TTGIGA antibodies. Sensitivity is 90% to 98% and specificity is 95% to 97%. Excellent screening test as well as a test to confirm celiac disease. Other tests, antiandomizial, EMA, IgA antibodies. Increased total serum IgA levels. Very useful test if antibody tests are not conclusive. Small intense endoscopic biopsy showing. Flattened villi, particularly in the duodenum and jejunum and hyperplastic glands with intense lymphocytic infiltration. Gold standard for diagnosing celiac disease is to see restitution of the villi after gluten is eliminated from the diet. Other disease associations that commonly occur in celiac disease include Dermatitis herpetiformis, autoimmune disease. Examples, hyperthyroidism. Primary biliary cirrhosis. Type 1 diabetes mellitus. Celiac disease imposes a greater risk for developing retinopathy and nephropathy. Celiac disease and type 1 diabetes mellitus share common alleles. The only known effective treatment is a lifelong complete gluten-free diet, which leads to recovery of the intestinal mucosa, improves symptoms and reduces the risk of developing complications in most people. No medication exists that prevents damage or prevents the body from attacking the gut when gluten is present. Intestinal damage begins to heal within weeks of gluten being removed from the diet, and antibody levels decline over months. If untreated, it may result in cancers such as intestinal lymphoma and a slightly increased risk of early death.